Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second video in a four video series, Painting Bellfire's Companions, where I'm painting miniatures for my players of their characters in the campaign I'm running in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, if you didn't check out the first video, go check that out now. We painted Yeldrin Ezranith, the elven cleric for our group. Uh, this is the first time I ever painted any of Nolzer's minis, apart from the, the two that came in the paint sets I got, and I thought it was a blast. Uh, today we're doing our dwarf fighter. Now you'll notice I have the, the dwarven cleric miniature they did have a fighter which had much better armor for to suit his character but this one has the double-handed warhammer which is essential for his character grotto the crusher of skulls the warhammer is his weapon of choice every time he crushes a skull he puts a notch on that warhammer and the story behind that is that he grew up on a slave ship that was run by this yellow gnome clan called dreadspire uh, he grew up as a slave, rowing on that ship. His father died of exhaustion. His mother was caught stealing, strapped onto the front of the ship for several days. And then when she was let down, the captain of the ship took his warhammer and crushed his mother's skull. So a part of his story is trying to get vengeance for that. And that's why he uses a warhammer and he crushes skulls. Uh, it's a great, it's great and fun when we're playing. Um, so that's why I got this miniature instead of the fighter miniature. Because you just need the Warhammer for Grotto. Um, if you didn't check out the first video too, you'll notice like these have two miniatures each, which is great. So they can have one and I can have one because we run primarily on Discord over video chat. So if I need to build encounters with miniatures on dungeon tiles or grid paper or anything, I have something to represent their characters. And they also have one to keep, which is the whole point of it all. It's just that kind of fun little bonus thing. And I'm doing the paint jobs on them based on descriptions that the players have given me. So we'll go through that while we're doing the paint job. And then I'm going to match a set of dye that I have as close as I can to the color scheme. Let's paint Grotto, the crusher of skulls. So the first thing before we even get painted, uh, painting, uh, Grotto does not know any magic. So we're going to try and break off this little spell he's casting without damaging his hand. Although surprisingly easy. Eh. And we might keep that in case for some reason he, just, he learns how to do some magic. So the first descriptor we have about Grolo, about Grodo is that he has weather-worn skin. So I've mixed a little bit of fluff pink and some bugbear brown to kind of maybe get like more of a, a tanned kind of skin color, uh, which actually turned out pretty good so far. And we're just going to paint all of his skin on first. The next descriptor we have is that he has dark gray armor and arms. So, I mean, I'm just going to paint his Warhammer in mithril silver. And then we're going to add a little bit of underdark gray into it to do his armor. Uh, we might do some cool colors on this sigil here as well. Maybe we'll dry brush on a little bit of something darker. So our next descriptor is a big long brown beard and his hair is the same color. Um, now I did a little test there to differentiate his hair and his beard from the brown I'm going to use for the leather and the brown I'm going to use for the belts and stuff. Uh, I mixed a tiny bit of Dragonfire Red into some Bugbear Brown just to give it that little bit of a, of a different color. And uh, I was hoping it wasn't going to be too much red, but I think that looks really good actually. And as always, I'm painting all over the fucking place. And I'm going to have to do some touch-ups, but... That's okay. Okay, we're gonna get the basic stuff done. We're gonna use classic Bugbear Brown for the weapon handles. And then, then. Now we can go to our rigid leather and do the boots and the gloves. Find with the rigid leather more really than any other paint color that the layering is essential because it seems like it goes on kind of really th kind of like thin and also green on the first layer and then I let it dry up a bit and the second layer uh, solidifies and kind of darkens up into a brown. 
I've had the same problem on Yeldrin's boots as I'm having here. It took me th three really thin layers to get it to look right, whereas a lot of the other colors I can do in one, if not two. But, I mean, it's all better than process. Now, for Grotto's garments, I'm told he wears brown pants and just a white shirt. And I have never, and I've never used white as a real base color, so I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out, painting white on white. And then, uh, because he's obviously a, a warrior, the wash that we're going to do after will obviously dirty the shirt up a bit and make it look like it's been worn by somebody who's been in dungeons and been fighting battles instead of this crisp, clean color we're going to see now. But I was very excited to try this out. So, like many things here, Grodo has brown pants and to avoid conflict with the multiple shades of brown again. I have taken some bugbear brown and some light blue to make a distinct, hopefully, color of brown for his pants. Mm, that looks a little bit too gray. We'll add a little bit of brown. I think that looks pretty good looks brown but it also looks different from the boot leather and the strap leather and the belt so far I think this has turned out pretty well I don't know what color his eyes are so I'm gonna leave them uh, uncolored for now because it'll be easy enough to add on later and even with the wash it might kind of just shadow it up nice and good. So I'm gonna do my base and then glue them on and do the wash and we'll see how it turns out. So for Grotto's base, uh, it looks kind of rocky, like almost hewn out and he is a dwarf. So I'm gonna do his base. I'm gonna try it in Duragar metal, which is a metallic color kind of like the, like the Mithril, but darker. And I haven't used it yet. I've had it for a while and I haven't got a chance to use it. So because he is a dwarf, I'm going to assume that he's found some you know, cool minerals in the ground where he's posing, I don't know. But I think that's kind of a cool color for this base style. And like I said, I've wanted to use this color and I haven't had a chance, so. Now for a bit of super glue. Let that dry for a minute. We'll keep his spell up here, just in case. And then uh, we can do our wash. Time to make those details pop. Here he is in his final form, Grotto, Crusher of Skulls, with his matching die. This was another really fun paint job. I think it turned out great. I got to try a couple things I never tried before using the white for like a big base coat, big area for the clothing and using the Durgar metal. Um, and I think the, and I think these minis turned out really cool. 
Um, if you liked what you saw, if you liked this paint job, hit the like button, leave me a comment. If you have any tips or tricks for me, because I am still kind of new at this hobby, also leave me a comment about that. If you haven't watched Yeldrin Ezraneth paint job, the last video before this one, go check that out. And if you want to see the next two paint jobs for Bellfire's Companions, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Those are coming up. It's going to be lots of fun. And we got lots of other fun stuff you can do at home or do outside. We'll check you in the next video.